Welcome, this is Alex and Amanda. Today we will be incorporating Bitmoji into your virtual classroom. Bitmoji is a Chrome extension and a mobile app that can be used to personalize your virtual classroom. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to enable notifications for our channel by clicking our logo during the video. Also, leave us a comment or check out related videos by clicking the pop-up cards in the upper right corner. Here's how to get started incorporating Bitmojis into your virtual classroom. The first step is to create your own teacher Bitmoji. You'll have to do this by downloading the app onto your phone. This can be done in the App Store for iPhone users or in the Google Play Store for Android users. Once in the app, clicking the avatar logo allows you to adjust all the features of your face, hair, and body until it is the most authentic to you. Clicking the fashion logo allows you to add your sense of style to your mini-me. Choose an outfit or put pieces together to make something all your own. Next, you'll need to add the Bitmoji Chrome extension to your browser. You can find it in the Chrome Web Store. Ensure that the logo is visible in your browser window by clicking Show in Browser. Now it's time to get personal. Simply click this logo in your extension panel and log into the account that you created in the app. Now it's your turn to search the sticker library and express your teacher self. Add Another fun way to incorporate your teacher Bitmoji is by creating a personalized Google Classroom banner. We will start with a blank Google slide. First thing is to set your background. Google image search for wall and floor. This will give you several options to choose from. Next, we need to resize the slide to fit the Google Classroom banner. Custom, pixels, we're going to change this from 800 to 200. Now it's the perfect size. Next, we need to start creating our banner. Insert, image, search the web. Make sure to incorporate the word transparent in your search so the images don't have the border and look great on your Google slot. You can create anything from whiteboards, chairs, desks, anything you'd like, but don't forget to add your Bitmoji. When you're finished, it could look something like this. Next, we need to download our Google slide to an image. Download, JPEG, PNG, either one. And lastly, Google Classroom. Upload photo, choose your image, and now you have an awesome Bitmoji Google Classroom banner. Let's talk about personalized feedback with Bitmojis. For your virtual students, seeing your Bitmoji's positive reaction can be nearly as motivating as seeing the real thing. Drag and drop your smiling face straight from this extension window onto a Google Doc or a Google Slide, then resize to provide positive feedback on a student's assignment. Do your students submit work without explanations, details, or complete sentences? Your Bitmoji can include a short message to point out how they could improve their response to improve their grade. Once you have the extension in your toolbar, your Bitmoji icon will appear in your Gmail Compose window. This makes adding feedback and reactions to student and colleague emails a breeze. An added note about student participation. While teacher Bitmojis are almost always a good idea, student Bitmojis can present a challenge. Before allowing your class to personalize their own cartoon face, consider the age of your students and set expectations for what is appropriate. Some stickers in the Bitmoji library are less than appropriate for school. A great way to utilize your teacher Bitmoji is by creating a virtual classroom. We will start with a blank Google slide. First thing we need to do is find our background. Google image search wall and floor and make your decision. The next part is the design aspect. Insert, image, search the web. Make sure you include the word transparent in your search so the image looks good on the background. Resize and move wherever you need it to be. You can also change the color of images. Format options, free color. You don't want the blue chair, you'd rather the orange chair. If you need the chair face in the other direction, size and rotation, and flip makes this possible. 
Don't forget to include your personal Bitmoji. Drag and drop into the slide. Resize and move wherever it needs to be. A finished Bitmoji classroom could look something like this. The posters and anything that you have placed in the Google slide can be made interactive. All you need to do is choose whatever you'd like to add a link, hit Control K, paste the link to a Google Doc, website, or any YouTube video, and your children can interact with the image. Send this virtual classroom to any learning management system, and your students can interact with it in any way possible. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, or reply to one of our other videos, or share the playlist below. Subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that you don't miss out on the next episode. Don't forget to check out our other resources like this cast podcast and see what else is going on in Horry County Schools. Be sure to follow at Deer Disses on social media or contact us via email or our blog.